morning, you guys. It is about six o'clock in the morning, and I'm out here in the new blue room. That's what we're going to call it from now on, because I keep calling it either the four season room or the room edition or the sunroom. We're going to call it the blue room from now on, because I have the blue couch, and I have the blue chair, and I have the navy blue little breakfast table, which I love. You know, Pier 1 is going out of business. That's where I got that. So everything is like grab it off the showroom floor and go. And the prices are really good. So anyway, I am sitting out here having a little coffee. And so I thought I would check in with all of you. So I'm up early this morning because I'm kind of, you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, I get travel anxiety. But here's what I have decided. I'm not going to say that anymore because it isn't helpful. It doesn't make it go away. In fact, it probably makes it worse the more that I acknowledge it and say it. So here is my plan of attack because I'm just going to say this. You, if, you, if you've been watching my channel and you guys are my friends, you know that I dealt with it a lot when we traveled back and forth to Florida. Many of you have asked me, a lot of you know because I put it um, in my Facebook group that I bought a house in Florida. So for those of you who don't know that aren't in my Facebook group, please join, we'd love to have you. But I bought a house in Florida because I'm a real estate agent. I'm licensed in Missouri and also Florida, but the bulk of my business comes out of Florida. So I really need to work and I really need to work there um, for many, many reasons. So anyway, we finally, we sold our condo, spent a year back here in St. Louis, where I'm from, my family is from, and we finally found a house in Florida. It's a renovation, by the way. Tell me in the comments down below if you want to see the before and after. The before, I haven't even seen. You guys are going to die. We bought this. I have never stepped foot in the house. We bought it totally sight unseen. I personally have never been in the house. So I have to, this will be the first time I'm experiencing it. So anyway, how is the eating going and the weight going? Let me just give you a quick, a little update on my iron levels. So they're still at 11.2, which is awesome. That's totally good. So I'm not worried about that anymore. Although I will say, that Mother Nature came knocking, as she still does in my life. Um, and that, so I'm going to go get blood work this week to see how that affected things. Because you know how that was the theory, is that that could be in part what, you know, I sort of have a perfect storm going on between what happened with the calories being too low and nutrition and my body not absorbing iron correctly and then Mother Nature showing up and wreaking havoc. So we're going to find out how much that component plays a part because I'm going to go get blood work done and do a little of my own analysis. But anyway, for now, feeling good. You know, they tell you to look at your hands, your palms, and if, because it's a vascular area, and if they're kind of like pink, you're supposedly in good shape. If they're totally pale, maybe not so much. Anyway, just a little thing I learned. But on to the food. How am I doing? Here's what I have been looking at. So I'm having sugar cravings so bad right now, you guys. It's just, and I know it's not that sugar craving that I got with the iron that my body was looking for energy. This is just, I have eaten more on green and it worked. Everything that should have happened, happened. But as you guys know, a weight gain also happened. But I did lose three pounds. It took me two weeks to lose that three pounds, which is fine. Um, I want to do it slow and steady in the right way and no crashing of any sort. So, I, but I've been allowing myself, because for me, 30 points, is it's a lot. It's enough. It's good. And I'm just not used to eating that amount of points and calories. So it's easy for me to throw a cookie in here and there. I can't do that. I just can't and I'm not saying you know we all know everybody like sometimes the WW police come out and they they jump you and they'll say well what do you mean 
You can have whatever you want on WW. Yes, I agree with you. You're 100% right. But for me and for you, in your body, that might be okay. You might be able to have a brownie and go on with your life. I can't. If I do that, kind of like even if I say the word, it triggers me. So for me, I have to avoid sugar. I really, really do because it starts something in I don't even want to say it's in my body. Maybe it is, but I think more so than anything, it's in my head. And I just keep craving it. So this week, being Monday morning, I'm going to start the right way. And I'm going to just, I'm not going to say I'm not going to have sugar for a month. No, I'm not going to say that. I am going to say today, I'm not going to have any sugar. And then tomorrow, I'm not going to have any sugar if I can do it. But right now we're gonna just start with one day at a time to start breaking the cycle because I looked at all my old food journals when I took all that weight off. Calories being too low aside, I was eating really, really good. And I looked at my notes, which is why it's so important you guys have a journal. In fact, I'll pop the one in that I like if I remember to do it. But it's so important to have a journal because you can go back and reflect on, you know, what was good and what was bad. So for me, I there are many days that I wrote, no dessert, you can do it. Or didn't have any sugar today, awesome job, go for tomorrow. You know, like I made these little rah-rah notes to myself. Now when I go back and I look at them, that means a lot to me. So I know that in the beginning when I was consistently dropping weight and being able to maintain that and do really, really good, really take control of my eating, and I felt great because I have mental health notes in there too. That's what I wanna go back to. So that's what I'm gonna focus on this week as a short-term goal. And also not talking about the, you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> So those two things together can sometimes cause, you know, a little bit of throw you off balance, we'll put it that way. But I, I'm not going to let that happen. I am taking control of things this week, and I will let you guys know because my weigh-in is next week. Because remember, I said in a video a couple few days ago that I, I weigh in every other week now just to avoid me, you know, kind of reacting to the scale. So anyway... I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm going to drink my coffee and we'll chat in the Facebook group. Bye.